So you have a T-Mobile Rebel tablet and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the tablet is on. I'm going to give you several fixes that you can do right now at your home. Nothing to do with taking it apart either. So first thing, note that this one here is actually fixed, but we're going to pretend that this has a black screen. Okay, And if it has a black screen, you know that it's on. Maybe you hear notifications coming in or whatnot. Or if you plug it in, give it power, you should hear that chime. Okay, Now let's go ahead and pretend I have a black screen here. First thing that we're going to try to do is just force it to restart, okay? It's going to be a two key combination. It's going to be the, vo the power button and the volume up. You want to press and hold both buttons, hold it for the count of 13 seconds, then let go, and it should automatically restart, okay? So we'll do this together. Let's pretend my screen here is black. Power button, volume up. Ready, set, go. Just press and hold both buttons. Volume up power, keep on holding and count to 13 seconds between my screen here is black. Still holding on both buttons here. 13, let go now. Okay, now let go. Go ahead and boot back up and hopefully now you have a working screen. Okay, if your screen is black, no problem. We're going to go to step number two. Okay, step number two. And I also forgot to mention if you guys have a case on here, make sure you take the case off. Okay. So next thing we're going to do here is first thing is you see the power button here. We're going to spam the button just four times. Don't do it more than four times because if you have your SOS emergency enabled, it will call emergency services in your country. Like if you live in the U.S., it'll call 911 if you have that set up, okay? So just in case, we're just going to spam it four times consecutively, okay? One, two, three, four. That's it because your power couldn't be, it could be jammed, stuck. You might have... It might be sticky in there from coffee or whatnot, and a, um, a jam power button or something, something wrong with the power button can cause a black screen issue as well, okay? So we just did it four times, no problem. Leave it just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of power. We're going to go ahead and connect it. Wait five seconds, okay? And now we're going to do the force restart again, all right? Pretend my screen here is black. We're going to do it again. Power button, volume up, ready, set, Go press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding, count to 13 seconds, okay? Continue to hold here. 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go, let go. If you hold it like too long, it, it may bring you into the no commands and then you just have to, you have to exit out of that, but it'd be kind of hard to do um, with a black screen because you can't see the screen. But anyway, go ahead and wait for it to boot up and hopefully now you have a working screen, okay? If you still have a black screen, no problem. We're going to go to the next possible step. Okay, so you still have a black screen. No problem. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug it. Next thing we're going to do here is what I call the press method. Okay, uh, what I want you to do is, is grab your tablet. And what we're going to do is we're going to press on it all over on the front and, all, 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 and on the back as well. And the whole premise behind this is you might have a cable ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a little press. Believe it or not, can pop it into place. Okay. So let's say we have a black screen here. If you don't want to smudge up your uh, screen by pressing it, and it's going to, I'm going to be pressing it like this. And then we'll do the other side as well. If you don't want to smudge up your screen, then you can use a cloth or whatnot. So basically what I want you to do is hold it like this and press with your thumbs. Okay, press. Press all over. Press. Keep pressing all in the corners. Press. 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 Keep pressing, okay? And then once you press on that, tap on that power button and see if your screen is on, okay? Sometimes the screen will turn on, sometimes you'll get half the screen, sometimes you might get like white lines, or sometimes it'll just still be black, okay? But no problem, okay? If the screen's not on, no problem, then you're going to go ahead and turn it over, and you're going to do the same thing on the back here, okay? You're going to press, 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 kind of hard, okay? Press. Now, especially if you hear a little click, if you hear a little click, turn it over, Tap that power button and see if your tablet is on, okay? If not, no problem. Even all around the lens here, press, press, press all around it, okay? Nice, keep pressing, and then turn your tablet over, tap the power button, and see if your screen is on. If it's still black or half a screen or whatnot, then do the same thing, force restart. Power button, volume up, ready, set, go. Press and hold, count to 13 seconds. Between my screen here is black. Still holding both buttons, power button and volume up. 10, 11, 
12, 13. Now let go. And let it boot up normally. And hopefully you are out of the black screen now. If not, we'll go to the next step. So if you still have a black screen, the next thing I have for you is what I call the freezer method. Go ahead and grab your tablet, just like this. It's naked, like no case on or nothing. Go to your freezer. Put this in your freezer just like this. Leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, go to your freezer, grab your nice cold tablet out of the freezer, and then tap that power button, and then see if your screen is on. If it's still off, no problem. While it's nice and cold, force it to restart again. Power button, volume up. Press and hold both buttons and keep on holding for 13 seconds. After 13 seconds, let go. And hopefully you are now out of the black screen. Now here's the thing. If you guys still have a black screen, then what I would suggest is start from step number one again. Number Step number one, two, three, four, all the way to the freezer method. Doesn't work second time, try it three times. Try it at least up to seven times, okay? If you guys tried every step at least up to seven times, I'm going to guess at least... 60, maybe 70% of you guys should now have a working screen, okay? Good luck, guys.